All right, so I have this idea for my son's birthday. Basically, I'm going to try and make like a little bag like for the rupees for Zelda. He's going to have a Zelda theme birthday. All right, so I'm gonna make a treasure chest out of a cardboard box and inside that, I'm going to have rupees, like these bags of rupees. And inside these bags is going to be a gift. So every uh, bag he has, he can open it and keep the bag itself and inside will be one of his presents so this is kind of what i want it to look like right now this is not even sewn up or anything um you could just get any color material you want this happens to be a pillowcase um, that i'm going to cut up into little bags um, and then sew them like on the top and on the bottom sew the bottom up and then sew the top up to where it has like a folded over and a nice little seam at the top and then I've printed out these little rupees, which I'm going to use Mod Podge fabric paint um, and then glue them onto here. And then I have um, some yarn, some brown yarn. You could use whatever color you like. And then just kind of tie it up at the top. Inside, I'm also going to put tissue paper. Like, I'm going to grab the gift, wrap it up in tissue paper, and stick it in there so that these are fuller and not flat or, you know, you can't fill it and see what kind of present it is. So it's going to be full of tissue paper. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started and see how this turns out. The first step is we will need some wax paper just so that our uh, images won't get stuck to the wax paper when we're trying to use the Mod Podge. So, after you've printed out your um, little rupees, gemstones, um, you can get the Mod Podge. I'm going to use fabric Mod Podge. I don't know if regular Mod Podge works or not for this project. But just to be safe, I'm going to use the fabric one and then have a little paintbrush. So what we're going to do is we are going to do one layer onto the wax paper and let it dry a little bit. But then we're going to want to pull it off so it doesn't actually get stuck and then kind of place it over a little bit so um, it doesn't glue onto the wax paper. So here we go. Okay, and so once we put our first layer, it will take a few minutes to dry. I think probably, like, this is really thick. I don't know if you can see how thick this is. Ooh, I don't know if I want to water it down a little bit. It's pretty thick. Let's see. It's thicker than the normal Mod Podge at that, too. So, just one thin layer. And let's go ahead and move it over. And I think I'm going to do the back side after the front side dries so that it's a little bit more pliable. All right, and so you're just going to continue to do this to all of them, let them dry a little bit, and then I will flip them over and do the other side. And then we will try to glue them to our little um, bags. I'm going to cut my um, pillowcase up into a couple of squares um, so that I can sew the edges and make them look better. And then we will continue with this project and see how it turns out. All right, so I just finished sewing up one of my little baggies. Um, I sewed up the inside and then I turned it inside out. So now here's a cute little bag. And now I'm gonna go ahead and glue one of these dried uh, Mod Podge um, rupees onto the little bag. So I am going to use the Mod Podge on the back side and then I will just paste it on Probably a little bit lower. Yeah, probably about closer to the bottom. That way we can bag up the top.
Okay, so I just want to do one good thin layer and then peel it off a little bit. All right, and then we're going to put it down on here. Probably like that. All right, so I'm going to make some more of these bags. Um, but this is going to be how it looks. All right, so now we're just going to let that dry. Once it's completely dry, we can stick our gift inside there wrapped up in tissue paper. And then we will put the yarn on it and it'll be a cute little ruby pouch just like that. I think it's going to look really cute. Can't wait to get them all completed. I think it looks really good. It kind of feels and looks like it was screen printed on there, um, like a decal. It, I think the fabric Mod Podge really gives it that help. Like I said, I don't know if regular Mod Podge will do that as well, but it does make it like pliable, so I like that. That's not stiff. And so we got one of the Legend of Zelda games. It's not in that good of conditions, got a little bit of marks, but who cares? It's still a really good game. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in tissue paper and once we have that wrapped up nice and neat, and you can add more tissue paper um, before sticking it in. This one's thinner, so I might not use this one. I'm going to use this one for something else. But I do have a thicker, I mean a bigger one, a wider one. So I can put more tissue paper with this as well, and I will later. But I'm just going to show you really quick what you can do is stick it inside this little bag. Gather it all together at the top, and then we're just going to kind of um, put some ribbon at the top. kind of like this one better, so I'm going to use this thinner one. And like I said, we're just going to grab the top of it like that, and then we're going to put some of this yarn around it. So, all we have to do is go around it both ways. Make a little knot. And there you go. And then we'll just cut this part off. And there is one little bundle. I think it looks really cute. It's going to look cute whenever I make the whole treasure um, chest all ready. And we'll just shove a whole bunch of these inside there. And I think it's going to look cute. I like that idea. So um, that's one idea that we are going to do for the Zelda party. I do have uh, two other ideas. One is going to be the treasure chest I'm going to make out of cardboard and the other is going to be a hearts um, banner like the Link Hearts lives. Um, I guess that's how you can say it, the lives. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to make a banner with hearts and I will show you those in other videos. So I hope you guys stick around and um, click on those other videos or subscribe and make it easier so you can see um, the upcoming videos.